Hey guys, Sergio Terreros. Today I have a great topic. Let's talk about KPIs. For the ones that are not familiar, this is a key performance indicators. Okay, so what is this? Let's put it this way. You have goals in your campaign and you have KPIs. KPI, the key performance indicator, will let you know in base of the goal is different, okay, uh, what is working and what is not. And the end goal will define if the campaign, the campaign was successful or it wasn't, okay? I know it may sound confused, but let's say uh, you have a business, you have a restaurant, okay? And uh, you want more orders online. My goal is sell more food in my website, okay? Then I have a campaign in Facebook, social media, Google, whatever, or in any other app. And I create a campaign where I have a lot of engagement. And um, for me, that may be good, but we didn't convert. They didn't order online. Or that campaign, we make changes in the campaign. And now we got more likes, but still not getting those orders. Okay. So I got likes that marketer or your marketing director may think, look, we get more exposure now. And then, you know, uh, the owner said, well, you know, we didn't sell any. It was successful, the change, but the goal wasn't met. And I'm going to show you guys something. Uh, this is an old campaign that we created, but so you guys can see. For the ones that are listening to my podcast, you guys can go and find my YouTube channel, Hispanic Influencer. And that t the title of the video is going to be Let's Talk About KPIs. Okay. So let me share real quick this. Okay. Okay. Let me make it bigger. Let me make it even more bigger here. Okay. So, as you guys can see in this uh, screen, I have a Google ad campaign, okay? And you guys are going to be able to see how many clicks I got, the click-through rate, and, uh, well, right there, the click-through rate and the cost. For example, in one ad, one specific ad, I have six clicks, right? If I focus in clicks, Let's say the ad that I got more clicks is 53 clicks. The click to rate is 4% and the cost $500.576, right? A little more, uh, almost $600. For me, let's, if someone calling you like, hey, we do PPC and blah, 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 all the good stuff is good. So, oh, well, look, I got a lot of clicks. But the number the click to rate the people that actually uh the average the effectiveness sorry the effectiveness of the campaigns was four percent and it cost me uh 576 dollars okay now for you guys that are looking to do it yourself it may be good or you know not you're not familiar with it like a, a lot of law firms that contact me and they hire, you know, companies to do this for them. Uh, you have to make sure this video is, is really important because it has to, you're going to have to see what is more important for you. Clicks or click to rate, how effective it is, okay? So we always adjust the campaigns every single week in our agency. So this is, let's say you get 53 clicks, the click to rate is uh, 4%. And the cost is $576. But for me, it doesn't say much because I want to make sure that my ads are well placed. So if I click in click-through rate, 
the best click through rate that I have is a different ad, okay? And it says only had six clicks, okay? The previous one, came, the previous ad was six, uh, 53. This one have only six. But the effectiveness of these ads is 24%, okay? And the cost is $218. Now, for me, this is effective, right? It's not about the clicks. It's about the effectiveness in the cost and the cost of if it, the ad is cost effective okay so this is one example is what you have to see in the in your kpis establish a really determined and a, a specific kpi what it makes important to you and my recommendation as a marketer is the click through rate what is more effective and put more money in those ads because it costs less and uh, it's more, of course, you need more effective, there are more leads. But now I want to show you the difference in social media. So right here, I have a campaign that actually I always, you know, in our, uh, in, in the agency, I always do tests, right? You know, you are going to be about to see a Facebook test. And this is, I always test with my money, with my companies. I have different companies, uh, and then, you know, I apply those for the company that we work with, okay? So, here you go. For example, I had one campaign that advertised only in Facebook and Instagram feeds, and I have another campaign that I advertise only in stories, okay? I just choose those two. There's a different ways where you can advertise, but I'm choosing those two for my personal advertising campaign. So the budget for both was $500 in a period time of seven days, okay? And it was focusing leads, see? So results, for example, the ad that it was focused only in feed, I got for leads, okay? And the uh, ad that was focused only in stories, I got three leads. But this is more important for me. I don't care about the cost, to be honest, because we spend, you know, in each campaign, 200 some dollars. And, uh, but this is really important for me. The feed got more likes, sorry, clicks than stories okay and we spend hours the same time the same amount but it is really important to see this number right here well i can click on it but the reach feet got less reach but more impressions okay and the stories got more reach but less impressions what that means, we have to read between lines, okay? Uh, if I reach more people, but I get less engagement, impressions, sorry, impression, more impressions, but less reach. Less reach, more, less impression. More reach, less impression. You have to determine what do you want. I got leads in this. This is a lead creating campaign. For me, of course, feeds works better. Now, it was the same ad, the same audience, and the same time frame, and the same budget, okay? So you have to create those kind of tests to see. For example, for me, if a, a company called me and said, hey, where, where do you, should I advertise? Because you guys may think only advertising Facebook, but Facebook have different platforms inside Facebook, okay? Different ways. So uh, make sure that you understand your KPIs, what will make success, uh, how you want to measure success versus what is the goal. Okay, I got leads, I got seven uh, lead, likes, uh, leads, but I'd rather, even if I got less leads in uh, stories, 
I got more impression for my bucks. Even if I didn't convert that much, I, I converted just a, in a one lead difference, but I got more reach, see? 2,000 more people saw my ad, see? I sometimes, if you think like, okay, the goal was this, but I have to see this aspect as well. Like I got more rich. It is important for me to get more rich because now I have leads and I have brand recognition. Okay. This is the video. If you guys, like I said, you guys uh, listen to my podcast, go ahead and find the video, Hispanic Influencers. Uh, let's talk about KPIs. And that's it, the title. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'll do you guys. Uh, this is a, just one quick example of what, how to perform Facebook and Google ads or any digital campaigns. If you guys have any questions, you guys can find me in any social media as Hispanic influencer, but uh, make sure that you have the right mentality when you go and advertise in any digital platform. What is your KPIs? How are you going to measure success? And what is the goal of the campaign? Thank you so much for watching. And we'll be in touch, guys. Keep watching. Bye-bye.